So I decided to build a house in Skyrim, and after talking to the local innkeeper, he gave me a signed contract to a small bit of land up on the mountainside. It was quite a climb, but eventually I made it up, and I, I think it's gonna work out fine. Now I haven't played Skyrim in a very long time, and I thought it would be time to s just start again and do something really small and insignificant, just to get back into the groove of things. So after having a quick snack, I got to work on clearing the area of rubble and start building my house. Now the location is very inhospitable and it's gonna be rough to carry all of the materials up here but eventually it's probably gonna be fine. I don't really understand why anyone would ever build a house here but it's a nice place once it's done I tell you. The only problem I have with it is that there's no road or staircase leading up to the actual plateau that I'm building on which does not make sense at all. So the first thing I wanted to build was just a small shelter that I could use in the beginning of the build just to have somewhere warm to stay and just have a snack or taking shelter from the weather because it gets quite snowy and cold up here if the weather's not on my side. So I needed a bit of materials to build that first shelter but I actually had most of it in the area around my building site so it didn't take long to gather all the necessary stuff. But when I was about done the sun had already started to set so I decided to make myself a campfire in the middle of the construction site and then get to work on the shelter. When I was done with the shelter, the sun had already set. I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out, but uh, that was all I had time for that day. So I just sat down, had a nice small fire started, and just relaxed. decided to get an early start the next day um, I was gonna start making the things around the house so that I could do some of the crafting uh, on location instead of heading back to Windhelm and other parts of Skyrim just to get the stuff that I needed so I decided to start with the tanning rack and similar things but I did have to go and get those supplies now some of them I could get at the location, but most of it I had to actually go to other places to acquire. After gathering up all the materials, all that was left to do was to build a tanning rack. Starting to take shape, we got some basic stuff going, and the next step was to get ourselves a smelter. 
and an anvil. But once again, I had to head out to gather the necessary materials. This entire thing was quite a project, I did not realize that I would need this much material to make it. Fortunately, most of it was things that I could either mine or gather or hunt for, but some of the things I actually had to buy. But so far, so good. So the day was over and I decided to once again just chill out at my small shelter and just wait for the next day. I realized that you, you could do quite a lot of cool stuff with this. You could actually change blanket colors, turn off lights, change the, well, the drink that you had on location. So I was sort of starting to suspect that I would be able to do the same thing in the house as well, which is really cool. Just comes to show how much the player homes have evolved during the years this game has been out. And it's, I gotta say, it's starting to be quite interesting and just really good looking. So the next step was to start on the main cottage. Um, I needed a lot of stuff for this. So once again, after mining some stone, I headed out to gather the necessary materials. Took me quite some time, but eventually I managed to get everything together and put up the house. Quite a small house, but once it's done, it's gonna look amazing, especially on the inside. Now for the next part, I needed some glass and some straw, and I actually don't know how I can get that any other way than buying it. So I had to head all the way over to Solitude just to get that. Fortunately for me, the small cabin is quite close to Windhelm, so I just took a carriage from there and headed over to Solitude. This was actually the first time I had been to Solitude, so as I got through the gates, they were just about to have an execution. But I guess most of you have seen that before, especially those of you who have actually played the game. So I decided I would not stay and watch. Now here, in the bits and pieces store, you can actually buy both glass and straw. So that is a good tip for anyone who's looking for it and don't know where to find it. I don't know if she restocks it, but she had quite a lot of it when I got there, so I didn't have to go back and see if she had any more later. Once I got out of the store, the execution had already been done and everyone was leaving the area, so there was no reason for me to stay to watch anything and I just decided to head back home. So this is actually the last piece that I can do on the outside of the house. I was looking for a staircase or something similar, but I could not find it. If anyone knows if the, that there is one, please let me know, because I would love to have one down to the main road. And I honestly don't even know what this is for, but I made it, and I guess it looks good. 
So the outside, the yard, is looking really fancy now, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now it's just the inside left. So I had to get some more supplies, actually silver ore, and I really had no idea where to get that, so I ended up going to Dawnstar, Markarth, and I ended up in this small village in the middle of the country that I can't even remember the name of that had two silver mines. I've never had to look for silver before, but it actually proved quite the challenge, and I ended up mining Quicksilver before I actually realized that those were two separate things. but. Eventually, things turned out okay, and I managed to find some silver, and I headed back home once again. Now, on the inside of the house, there was a lot to do. I decided to make the first small area of the house and then just skip until I'd finished all of the other ones but uh, it's more or less the exact same thing as I did with the other ones just see what I need go gather the materials and just keep working fortunately for me I was inside now so I did not have to worry about the cold and as long as I had food I would be all right but I did have to head out to gather a lot more materials to get the inside of the house sorted out. It was quite a massive amount of work and to be honest I did not expect it to take as long as it did. But eventually it was done. I added the final piece to the cottage, the bed, and then everything looked great. I haven't really played Skyrim for a very long time, just because I've played it so much that there's not really much for me to do in it anymore, but this small mod came as a welcome change and I actually enjoyed getting back into the game and just playing it for a little bit. This took me a couple of hours, it was not really a big deal, but if you have any other suggestions of mods like this that you would like me to try out in the same manner as I did this, please let me know in the comments and I'll get right to it because this was actually surprisingly enjoyable. Now I'm gonna leave a list of all the mods that I used in the video as well. I'm gonna leave the mod that this house entails at the top so you can find it easily if you're interested in trying it out yourself. And yeah, I just popped on a ENB and got to work. Now the ENB is very customized by me so I can't really give you a preset that you can download, but just download an EMB and mess around with it, and I'm sure you'll find something that's to your liking. But that was about it. The house was done, it was an enjoyable experience, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The mod author has done a great job with the mod, and I am absolutely 100% happy with how it turned out. I actually realized that you could remodel the entire house from the outside, changing its skin, that's what you might call it, so you can choose between stone and a lot of different sorts of wood, 
but no matter what you choose, I think the house looks great. The only issue I have with it is that there's no staircase to lead up to it. But that's about all I had to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. I also apologize for my voice. I am very... I, ha I have a very bad cold right now, but this turned out to be the perfect thing to do to cure that. Because right now I'm feeling great, I had a blast playing the game, and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, take care.